Okay, so today um, we're just um, going out and about at the minute just to see what's happening in the Shrewsbury area, Mill Brace, just to get an idea of what kind of fans we've got at the minute, how many fans, um, where they're deciding to drink, etc., before the game. And uh, the, the team that they're playing today, is it Wickham, is it we've got today? Yeah, so it's Wickham Wanderers, um, who are seventh in the league, Shrewsbury are eighth. Um, any kind of um, history with them? You, you know, no. some teams you might expect trouble more so than others, possibly. Yeah, there's no rivalry with Wickham. There's no history um, with Wickham, so we're expecting a, a family-friendly game today. Um, yeah. And we're out today just to engage with the supporters um, to make sure that they, they have a good experience today. When either visiting from Wickham or home fans, and then. Um, Later on, during the course of the operation, we'll get out and have a chat with fans and just make sure everything's going smoothly. It's hard, really. <laughs> <laughs> What's the number of the drive? 8.50, I think, something like that. Yeah. 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 So, but yeah, are we off the Derby next week? Or? Yeah, yeah. 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 Good on that. No, 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 nobody's going to Derby next week. Yeah. Are you not going? I'm not, I'm working. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. 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 not giving you the day off? Yeah, we try, no one's covering. They've got hard to That's me. I think, I think, well, shit, I'll start. I think I'll win it. One little time. You think? It's a good day out. Ryan Bowman after her. Thanks to you. Yeah, 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 good, 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 good. Yeah, Not bad right, at all. Got a win today. Say hi, Harry. Hi. I'll try it on, Harry. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, Harry. I have to get a picture of yeah, you. Yeah, picture. Absolutely going smashing. Yeah. It can only get better. Same old faces. Yes, definitely the same old faces. Good, excellent. Always nice people here. Yeah. yeah. Talk to us a bit, Chris, about what you're doing at this stage just before kickoff. Okay, so it's about half an hour before kickoff at three o'clock. So um, there's a lot of fan football now. You've got the away fans, and the home fans arriving. So we're just here engaging with the supporters, um, just to make sure everyone's um, safe, well, and, and enjoying their day. Um, just to try and get a vibe really of um, how today's going to pan out. So um, lots of smiley faces so far, which is great to see. Uh, a lot of young children that have arrived, their parents. So uh, yeah, everyone's uh, looking forward to the game. By the looks. And and what else goes into policing a match day? Because it's not just on the day. Is it? You've got things to put in place. Yeah. Beforehand. So during the week, we uh, engage and liaise with our partners, uh, different forces. Like for, for example, today, Ten Valley Police, um, we've been liaising with them during the week just to find out uh, supporter numbers, method of travel, uh, just to help me to, to plan for today's game. Then I'll work closely with the ground safety officer here at Shrewsbury Town and um, relay that information. I'll work closely with the uh, licensing team uh, and other partner agencies to um, make. Today goes smoothly. So Chris and I work closely together uh, ahead of every game. So Chris is our dedicated football officer from West Middlesex Police, so we'll uh, liaise before every game, uh, discuss any information we have. Um, we'll discuss ticket sales, uh, travelling away funds, uh, put publicity out about uh, parking, and all sorts of different aspects of, of what's available to fans on a match day. And then between us, we look at the, the risk of any game and then decide what resources are necessary from uh, a police perspective. Uh, and I have a minimum amount of resources that I need to provide from a stewarding point of view to meet the requirements of the safety certificate that's issued by the local authority. OK, and we're up here in the control room just looking down at the game now. Um, what's your sort of role while you're up here? So, so essentially, uh, uh, there's myself and, and Chris is my deputy and we're looking after the, 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 the whole of the stadium inside and out through our team of stewards, uh, again liaising with the police and just really just gathering information, uh, monitoring CCTV and bringing information about anything that's going on in and around the ground from the stewards. So there'll be a minimum of, uh, of 90 stewards on duty uh, and then they're just focusing on what's going on in and around the ground, feedback information to us and then between us Chris and I will decide what we need to do with that information and, and how we react depending on the nature of the, of the incident or, or whatever, you know, it could be a first aid incident, could be a security incident, we just decide, you know, who's going to deal with whatever information comes back through.